Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So today I want to make a really sweet, fun card for my daughter. She was actually born on November 2nd. It's just fun to have just an interesting die. Now this is a dancing girl day of the dead. We are going to make this today and it'll be part of her birthday um, cards that she receives this year. I have everything already cut out, ready to go, and just wanted to show you that these dies, they are so fun. You've got clothing, a head um, piece, a face piece, a bun, maracas, the uh, skirt detail, and the shirt. We've got some flowers and leaves and some other accents. So this is just super fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and get this little girl put together. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to do is I would like to work on the little head. We're going to stick the face up here in this little slot, like right like that. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to get the bun. I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue here and I'm going to just place her right here at the top, okay, where the top and the bottom of the bun meet. Okay, so they're moving along. So I'm gonna just keep an acrylic block here. The next thing that I want to do, I wanna find the heart, nose, and the little brow pieces or the bird lines above her eyes and the lips. So I am just gonna put a little bit of glue in these places and we're gonna piece those in there with our little wand. And then I noticed something that I need to actually come under here and I need to put a little bit of glue right where the cheekbones are. So we need this face to stay down. Okay, that's much better. All right, so now I'm gonna put the little nose right there and I have these eyes and really you don't need to place the eyes, but I thought it would be nice to have everything in one layer. And then we're going to place these little brow furrows now we need our little lips. Okay, I think that looks good. Perfect. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right back here. And then we're gonna place this underneath our little acrylic block and let that just hang out for just a moment. So the next thing that I want to do is work on our little body. And let's see, we've got two pieces of the skirt and the little um, fringe at the top. We have the middle fringe, the bottom fringe. We have the shirt, we have our hands, and we have shoes and a belt. So all of the rest that is left in this little dish are the maracas and the flowers. Okay, so we'll just set those off to the side for right now. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna build from the bottom up, I think. Okay, so we're just gonna go along this bottom edge. Just like that. And then we're gonna just ever so gently gonna put down our skirt and we're just gonna let that hang out for a second. All right, the next thing, it looks like this kind of goes just like so. So I think I'm gonna put, let me double check. Okay, so their picture shows everything on top. Let's see, I think I like the idea 
of it just kind of hanging out. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, and then we're going to just go along the bottom edge of the dress. Okay, and place that together just like that. I like having that wavy part of the blue showing. Okay, now because that is all a little bit precarious, I am going to kind of put a little bit of washi tape here and a little bit there. Okay, so that is definitely not going anywhere at all. And then I'll put a small piece right along the bottom of the skirt. So according to their picture, let me get that to focus for you. See, we're supposed to put the pink on top of the blue, but I kind of like having the blue poking out like this. Sorry for that glare. I kind of like that. I like the fringy blue part. So we're going to leave it. Well, we kind of have to leave it, but <laughs> we're not going to be upset about doing it incorrectly. I don't know that there's any way you could do things incorrectly being creative. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit, little bit of glue here at the top. Let that settle into the end. We're going to put the shirt right here. Looks so cute. And I thought about doing, you know, like only pink. Um, different shades of pink, but I think I really like this. I think this is good. Okay, so the next piece is going to be here. We got the shoulders, and we're going to go down here and up. We'll just put that into place, and then I want to put this little waistband on before I forget about it. All right, and then I think for the moment we're going to let this kind of hang out for just a second. We'll come back and finish up that. I'm going to let that sit under that acrylic block for just a minute. Okay, now back to our face. Let's do some florals, a little blue flower, and we need a yellow flower and a pink flower. Okay, very nice. And we need some leaves. We've got some dark leaves and some light leaves. Let's see. We're going to put this little flower right, right about here, and then we're going to stick some leaves in there as well. All right, that looks really cute. I love that. I think that's so fun. Okay, we're gonna need a pink flower, and the pink flower is gonna go kind of right up there where the bun is. We'll put it about right there, and then we'll grab some leaves for that one. Then we'll, let's do a dark leaf over there as well. We got all that. Oh, this is looking so cute. Then I'll just have this other flower. Let's see, we'll just have it kind of hanging out right there. And we're going to stick another leaf down here in the bottom little portion. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to let this hang out under there for a little bit. So now we're going to finish up this little lady here. Okay, so these are shoes. Here's the top of the shirt, like the little shawl. And here are the hands. So let's go ahead and let's do these hands first. We'll just get a nice little glob of glue there and we will just slide that just perfect. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Now I'm just going to check the placement on the back. Okay, so we got the hands all in place. Beautiful. We're going to need our shawl. Okay, that should be more than enough glue. We need it to go right here. There's like a little um, wings or like little outcroppings that are the same as the blue and they just line up on top of each other. So it's very handy. Okay, so there is her body and now we just need shoes. I don't really know how far to put the shoes from each other. Let's do like that and then we'll do the same with this one, and we'll put this one kind of about 
the same. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, I'm gonna bring out a little head, and then I'm gonna slide this body back over there. I'm gonna let that hang out, okay? And as you can tell, the loop is gonna go under this head, and then the body, the whole body, will swing. Let's do these maracas, and I also have some embellishments for the flowers. Okay, and then for the flowers, thinking like a, a clear jewel over here. Okay, I'm going to press that down for a minute. Okay, my hands are not sticky, but boy, they like to hold on to that paper. Okay, and then I've got a yellow jewel and I have a pink jewel. These are from one of my Simon Says Stamp card kits from the spring. Definitely has come in handy. Okay, so we're going to get a yellow. This is from the May kit, if I'm not mistaken. So this is what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to grab my shimmer and I'm going to put a little shimmer on her lips. Oh, that is going to be so cute. Okay, let's check that out. Well, let's see. Oh, there it goes. That's much better. Perfect. A little bit of shimmer and shine. Love it. Let's finish her up. So now we're going to put the maracas together. These are super fun. I actually used to have a pair when I was younger. I had a pair of maracas. They were red and green, like Christmas. They were so fun. I'm gonna hold that really tight. Much better. Okay. I think those need to sit for a minute. I'm gonna move them over there. Let's let them hang out for a second. Now let's think about a card panel while we're waiting for that glue to just kind of dry up. I'm thinking that I want, you know, she loves pink. So I'm thinking I want to do just a little bit of ink blending around the edge of my panel. Oh, that's just so fun. I love it. I just love the sparkle. So here is a panel, and this is 3.75 wide and 5 tall. So I'm thinking that I want to use Kitsch Flamingo, and I want to go around just a little bit. And let me piece this a little bit though. I want to know kind of where, where is she going to be sitting? Okay, so this looks fantastic. So I really just kind of want to go around, almost creating like a little vignette. Okay, so I'm just going to use my glass mat and I'm just going to go around and I'm going to try and be darker in the corners but this really is a very light color anyway and i am going for subtle so i don't need it to be real dark i don't need it to go too terribly far in to the card really more concerned about the corners and along the little edge okay so let's see how that looks maybe just a little more circular all right so all right i think that looks good we're gonna be done with that okay and i do need to cut down a card base this is something i had forgotten that i needed to do so i'm gonna bring in my large trimmer and i'm gonna cut this down Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get out the scoring tool, and we need to cut this to be at four and a quarter. And then we're going to score this. We're going to score this at five and a half. Okay, so even though definitely my daughter knows who made the card, 
I'm going to put my little sticker on the back because I have them. And then we're going to bring in all of this here. We do need to put the maracas on the hands and then we're going to start getting this placed. So I think the best way to do this will be we are just going to put some glue on that handle and then get it right there and get that one right there. Okay, we're going to let that sit for just a minute and let's see. We need to get our panel down on our card base. I'm gonna go just like that. And I have some real thin adhesive double-sided tape. I am going to go ahead and use this today. I really do like this stuff. It's from scrapbook.com and it just tears. It tears really easily. So it's just kind of it's just kind of nice. You could also use tape runner. You could just use glue, whatever strikes your fancy. Okay, and I'm gonna go across, and I think I'll do a little bit more right here. Okay, and then we're just gonna pick up the carrier sheet or those little release papers. These are so easy. Okay, bring the card base back in put it at a half mark there we go okay excellent that's going to be amazing all right so the next thing that needs to happen is we gotta gotta figure out where we're going to place everything so i'm thinking about right here and then her little head, actually her head could, it could go up a little more and I could put a sentiment at the bottom. So if I put it right here, okay, her little head right there. I think these are a little too close in. I'll just bend them outward. Okay, that's perfect placement. I am going to grab one of these guys and pop that right in the middle and then she will swing just like that i love it it's so cute what i'm gonna feel so that will be right there where her basically between her eyes where her nose is so now we will we will put a large one up there where the bun is I think I am going to put a couple where those leaves are. Give those leaves a little bit of support. Did I move that out of place? Nope, it's good. Okay, so right. Okay, so now we are going to put a little liquid glue on all of these so that we can get a little bit of float time. We don't need much. Okay, so now she can dance. That's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is just fantastic. And we don't always do the uh, Dios de los Muertos themed birthdays, but when I saw that, I just could not pass that up. That is just so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. You can kind you can kind of see the shimmer on the lips and the belt. You know, I think we could put a little bit in the maracas. Ooh, that's a, like a little glare there. Let's add some inside here. Of course, we could just make all of the maracas shimmery. That would be fun. All right, now it is perfect. Let's get it to focus. Oh, look at the shimmer. That's amazing. I wish I had thought to do some splatter 
after the ink blending, but that is okay. It is still a gorgeous card. I love it. Can't wait to stamp a little happy birthday on there and give this to her for her birthday. Okay, well, this is all for today's card. I hope that you enjoyed it. I never thought that I would do one of these dancing dies, but this is amazing. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your crappy friends. And until I see you in the next video, thank you so much for watching today. And as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.